اللهم وصل على سيدنا محمد Alhamdulillahirrabbilalamin Hazrat Abu Bakar Umar Usman wa Ali wa ala baqi sahabat tabi'in ridwan Allah ta'ala alayhi majma'in Ya ayuhal mu'minul hazirun Itakum Allah ta'ala wa ti'inna Allahum al-lazina taqwa al-lazina hum muhsinun Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashrafil anbiya min mursalin Sayyidina Maulana Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in All praises are due to Allah, Lord of the Universes all praises are due to Allah, who is the first, the last, the manifest, the hidden, the one who has might and power over all things. All praises are due to Allah, who sent his Habib Sayyidina Muhammad as the mercy to the universes. And may all peace and blessings be upon the Imam of the Haramain, our intercessor in the two realms, the master of the first and the last, the beloved of the Lord of the two Easts and the two Wests, the grandfather of Hassan and Hussein, Sayyidina Muhammad wassalam, and upon his noble family and blessed companions, especially upon the four Khulafa Rashidin, Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq, Hazrat Umar Farooq, Hazrat Usman Al Ghani, and Hazrat Ali Al Murtaza, and all those who follow them until the last day. And may peace and blessings be upon the glorious Ottoman Sultans and upon the Grand Sheikhs of the Golden Chain. Amen. Ya ayyuhal mu'minun, O believers, today is Yamul Juma. Welcome to you on this holy day. Welcome to you on this first Juma of the month of the Rasulullah wasalam, Shahrul Shaban, our Grand Sheikh Sultan al -Awliya. Shaykh Maulana Muhammad Nazim Adil Al-Haqqani Qadasallah Asir is saying, O Muslim people, the month of the Prophet has started. The glorified month of Shaban 
glorify the worship and rights of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and your matters will be blessed by Allah Jalla Wa'ala. O Muslim, O Muslim people, it will be blessed this honorable month, Sha'ban, the glorified. It is glorified from the Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala for his Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. Mubarak for us and for you, for the Muslim people and all the people of the world. Give this holy month a lot of value. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created creation for the sake of his beloved alayhi salatu wasalam and sent him as a mercy for all creation. Glorify him. Give value to his message. Listen to his words and follow him. You will be saved. O believers, this is the month of the Holy Prophet This is the month between the month of Allah and the month of the Ummat. Inshallah Rahman, we will not slow down in this month or become lazy in this month. This is the month that we are in. But look at the mercy of our Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He has placed the most important night of the year. The night in which our fate is written. In the month of his beloved alayhi salatu was salam. The month of the Shafi, of the intercessor. In it, the time that the Barat comes. This is a sign that is showing to us from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that the way that he shows his favor upon us is through the Holy Prophet This month is a time for the believers' hearts to wake up to the love of the Holy Prophet But what does it mean to love him? Today in this age of Ahir Zaman, so many are trying to answer this question from their own egos. And what they do is that they paint a picture of the Holy Prophet according to their own ego. They do not learn who the Holy Prophet is. Instead, they invent a version of the Prophet that is convenient to their own lifestyles. And they run after that. This is worse than drawing pictures of the Prophet or making cartoons of him. So, the Wahhabis are saying, painting one picture, the Prophet is not special and he is no different than you and me. They say, if you love the Prophet ﷺ, then don't send salawat on him, don't make his mawlid, don't love his family, don't honor him, don't praise him. That is one group and that is one picture. Then there are those who have emerged in this Ahir of Ahir Zaman. And they are using the khirka, the cloak of tasawuf. But it is to trick the people to go to the wrong path. There are those who are described in the Hadith Sharif when Holy Prophet said, There will appear in the later days men who confuse the world with the religion. Deceiving the people in soft skins of sheep with words sweet as honey. But they will have the heart of a wolf. Allah will say, they want to deceive me. They want to defy me. I swear by myself, I will send a tribulation upon them that will cripple the most patient among them. And that group is saying, loving Holy Prophet means you are allowed to do anything that you want. They say, Holy Prophet he loved everyone unconditionally. He was never angry. He never showed any jalal. He never judged anyone. He never stood up for haq. Those who say this is trying to make a wrong Christian version of Islam. To say that no matter what you do, and you are free to do it, you will be forgiven. 
That is not Islam. Islam is perfect and it does not need to change. And what they are describing is not the Holy Prophet They are painting another picture of him. Because the Holy Prophet he is perfect in every respect. He is the most honored in the Divine Presence. Yes, he has been sent as the giver of good tidings, but he has also been sent as the warner. And in these days of confusion, in these days of Ahir Zaman, in these days when they are ready to send the flood of fire to engulf the whole world, we are in need of him as a warner and we are in need of people warning. He always stands for Haq. He brought the laws of Allah to the earth to bring justice. And yes, Holy Prophet ﷺ used to show Jalal. As Hazrat Ali Karamallah Wajha is saying, the Prophet did not get angry for any worldly matter. When any true matter, true matter, matters that deal with Haq angered him, he never harmed anybody and nobody got up to take revenge for his anger. He became angry only for the sake of Haq. The Holy Prophet he is beyond what any of us can imagine with our minds. He is the beloved of Allah. As Imam al-Busri Qadrasullah Sir, the composer, that Wali Allah, that friend who wrote the Qasirat al-Burda, he's saying, he is the one whose meaning and form were perfected and then the originator of souls chose him as the beloved. Incomparable. His beauty has no equal. The essence of beauty itself is in his nature. Leave aside what the Christians have claimed for their prophet. Then praise him as you like, but do so wisely. Ascribe to his essence whatever you wish of honor and attribute to his exalted status what you will of greatness. Truly the messenger of Allah's greatness cannot be given justice by two lips and a tongue. So what is the way to learn who the Holy Prophet is? What is the way to show our love for him? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself Jalawala is telling us in the Holy Quran. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Say, Ya Muhammad, say to them, if you should love Allah, then follow me. So Allah will love you and forgive you your sins. And Allah is forgiving and merciful. Sadaqallah Lazim. Loving the Holy Prophet والسلام, it is to follow him. And following him is to follow those who he has left as his inheritors because inside them is the reality of the Holy Prophet والسلام, The shaykhs, the awliyaullah, they have finished themselves in the Holy Prophet والسلام. And for that reason they became his representative in every sense. That is why Holy Prophet is saying, the Shaykh in his Jama'at is like the Prophet in his Ummat. The Shaykh gives the Murid the opportunity to live like the Sahabis do. With the Prophet, when a man is with a Shaykh, he sees how the Prophet talked, how he walked, how he fixed the broken hearts of people, how he puts himself last and puts others first, how he sacrifices everything in the way of Allah. That knowledge, it cannot be contained in books. 
The Holy Prophet والسلام, he is alive and his lifestyle is contained in those who walk in his way in the awliya Allah. Of course, there are different stations of the friends of Allah. And there are different shaykhs. And there are different stations of the shaykhs. But we are very happy and we are very blessed and we are very grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because we're following one of his greatest ones that he has ever sent in the face of this earth. Sahib al Saif, Shaykh Abdul Karim al Kabrisi al Rabbani, who is representing one of the most beloved ones to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Sultan al Awliya, Shaykh Mawlana Muhammad Nazim Adil al Haqqani. We are continuing in their footsteps. And those who walk in the path of the Awliya Allah, they become beloved to the Holy Prophet Understand that the closer you are, the more careful you have to be. Understand, O murids, O believers, the closer that you become to the center, the more sensitive, the more careful that you have to be. You're going to think at least twice before you speak. You're going to understand where your words are going to reach, who it's going to hurt, who it's going to damage. Understanding, because you are close, they are listening. In these holy months, don't let your egos to fool you. Anger, it destroys you. If you want to walk in the path of the awliya Allah, you must be careful. You must watch. Because when you are beloved to the Holy Prophet والسلام, the blessings come fast. But so does the warning. Believe me, we are not under punishment. But if you are insisting, and we are insisting and becoming more stubborn and more arrogant, we are pulling that to ourselves. Once, when the Holy Prophet والسلام, finished namaz and turned to face the people, he said, Oh people, listen to this. Understand it. And know it. Allah has servants who are neither prophets nor martyrs. And whom the prophets and martyrs, they wish to be like them. Due to their seat and nearness in relation to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are praying and hoping that we are dust under the feet of those ones, that when they are near to Allah, we will be too. But we cannot be dust under their feet if we are continuing with our arrogance and our stubbornness, our rebellion and our disobedience. Young, not listening to the old. Wives, not listening to the husbands. Men, not listening to their shaykhs. Disobedience everywhere. Rebellion everywhere. And when the words escape from your mouths, it will circle around in the whole world, in the whole universes. And if it doesn't fit to the words that you're given to that one, it will come back to you. Understand, shaitan is here to trick us in this holy month. Wake up. Don't be lazy. You understand your ego. Don't fall for it. They're setting up a trap for you. Don't fall for it. Pull yourself out. Understand and put some patience. Alhamdulillah, we are following the traditions and we're trying to fast. But what is the use of fasting? If after you've broken your fast that day or the day after and you let your anger and your jealousy, your envy and your arrogance just to be free to do and say whatever it wants. Listen to this. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. One of the Bedouin Arabs who came from among the most isolated of people twisted his hand and the Prophet ﷺ, he pointed his hand at the Prophet and said, O Messenger of Allah, a people from humankind 
who are neither prophets nor martyrs, and yet the prophets and the martyrs wish to be like them due to their seat and nearness in relation to Allah, describe them for us. The Prophet ﷺ, his face showed happiness and delight at the Bedouin's question. And he said, they are of the strangers from this and that place. They frequent this or that tribe without belonging to them. They do not have family connections among themselves. They love one another for Allah's sake. They are of pure intent towards one another. On the day of judgment, on the day of resurrection, Allah will place for them pillars of light upon which he will make them sit and he, subhanahu wa ta'ala, will turn their faces and their clothes into light. On the day of resurrection, the people will be terrified, but not those ones. They are Allah's friends, upon whom fear comes not. Nor do they grieve. And the Prophet speaks the truth. O believers, we should aim for that. We should aim to be in that company, to be of those people. And when we have their association, we should keep it. We should not throw it away. Shukr alhamdulillah. We are in the association of one of the most, the greatest friends of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Sahibul Sayf, Shaykh Abdul Karim al Kabri Siyar Rabbani Qadasallahu Sir. We are in his way, the Osmanli Naqshbandi way. He has taught us the love of the Holy Prophet. He has taught us the sacrifice that comes with this love. He is teaching us the difficulties that come with this love. He is teaching us how we need to burn in this love and how it hurts. But we cannot go back from the path that we are on. Because everything in his being was burning with a passion for the Holy Prophet And that passion made him run in the way of Allah and to teach us to run in the way of Allah. That way is continuing. Alhamdulillah. We should continue to run in this way. In these holy days and nights, we are thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for sending us our Shaykh, because without him we would not know how to honor Rajab or Shaban or the special days and nights that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent. He is teaching us how to love the Holy Prophet والسلام, how to love the Ummah of that Prophet. He is teaching us about Shaban, saying, so wake up to yourselves. This is the month of Shaban. You should have felt if you have so much love for the Prophet والسلام, you should have felt the pain that the Holy Prophet والسلام, is going through. So you will not. You should not be happy about it. Yes, you should have felt when the Holy Prophet والسلام, is looking at this nation 24 hours a day and he's seeing that this nation is running 24 hours a day into the darkness. You should have felt it, but you don't. So you're just fooling yourselves. Not here. You can say it there. You can go to the Prophet's tomb. You can open the tomb and enter in it if you want. You don't see it that way. You have to feel it here. So wake up to yourselves. The month of Shaban is always coming with so much blessings and rahmat 
Which ones are you taking? Think and understand. Fool the whole world, but don't fool your own self. We just passed the night of Miraj some days ago. And understand what the Holy Prophet ﷺ said. He just went to Miraj and he came back. And when he came back, he said that he had seen in the Miraj. And he was crying for this nation. But you are not crying for your own selves because you have become Firauns. You don't feel anything. How are you going to cry? You're not feeling anything. You became a stone. Your love disappeared. There is no love. Love will make you to cry. Love to Allah and His Holy Prophet, والسلام, yes. Then you look at every living creature with different eyes then. Different love to every living creature. So wake up to yourselves. We are living the last days. Either be a problem or be the solution to the problem. You can do only one thing, yes, run and ask forgiveness. It doesn't matter who you are and what you are. It doesn't matter how much you know. Ya Rabbi, in this holy month of Shaban, we are asking for your forgiveness. We are asking to be counted amongst your good servants. We are asking to be from those who are carrying the work of helping the Ummati Muhammad. We are asking to be written to be with our Shaykh in this life and the next life. Amen. Astaghfirullah. 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 Lazim al Azim. La ilaha illa huwa al-Hayyul Qayyum. La ilaha illa Allah wahdahu la sharika lah. Lahu al-Mulk wa al-Hamd. 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 Lahu al-Mulk wa al-Ham